What's going on guys? It's Dave from 2AverageDudes.com. Hope you're having a great day. Huh? Canada. Isn't this beautiful? It's wonderful. Uh, and I want to give a big ups to uh, all the subscribers and everybody who leaves a comment, everybody who visits the channel. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess the Conference Board of Canada said that Alberta, okay, could fall back into a mild recession this year. And it's because of the oil patch problems and the issues with, uh, uh, like, the canola fiasco with China, right? Now, I guess they thought last year uh, the economy would go up, like, 1.3%. It would increase. Now, that was their prediction. Now, now they're saying that they figure it'll shrink by 0.1%. Uh, now, some economists don't agree with this. Some economists say that it's going to go up by 0.7%. Now, the difference between negative 1% and positive 0.7%, or negative 0.1%, positive 0.7% is likely billions of dollars in that economy. So, we're not talking about chump change here. Now, you know, Kenny's been uh, elected in there, and I... Everything I see, he's trying so hard to do his best to, you know, get that province back on its feet again. But there is a common, common denominator, and it is Justin Trudeau. Okay, this guy, okay, with the Huawei incident, uh, the executive men getting arrested by Canada, we did the United States dirty work. Okay, Justin Trudeau said, okay, we're going to help you out. And he wasn't smart enough to figure that there's going to be repercussions. But that's not the only thing. His government, his uh, liberal lackeys, have been annoying China. And, like, McKenna, I, 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 you know, it, it's, let's just say Justin Trudeau's liberals keep annoying China. And you know what? We should be working at repairing relations with China. But instead, I keep seeing... I keep seeing them irritating China. And when they irritate China, China is not going to back down with this canola thing or the pork thing or whatever. And you know what? Canola is a big crop in Alberta. So there's one kick with Justin Trudeau's boot to Alberta. Okay? Next thing. The oil patch. Like, pipeline on, pipeline off. We're going to build a pipeline. No, we're not. We're going to do this. No, we're not. You know, and carbon tax. It's, it's everything against Alberta. And if people don't realize this, Alberta is the juggernaut of Canada, okay? When Alberta thrives, Canada thrives. And it just seems to me, like, I'm in Ontario, and I'm, I, 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 I don't have any love for any province, okay? Every province to me is the same. I, that's the way I look at it, okay? But just like people, I don't like seeing people get treated badly and I feel like I feel like Trudeau is treating Alberta badly I really do I feel like there's so much behind closed door work against Alberta because every time Alberta should thrive there's another kick right to the nads and it's it's really annoying because I want Canada to be a great place I want Canada to thrive I want can because you know what when Canada thrives we all have more money we have a better life everybody has a better life but under Justin Trudeau I swear he's doing everything in his power to hurt Alberta and in turn it hurts Canada and that's just the way I see it some people may disagree but facts are facts if you look at what he's doing to Alberta he is hurting our economy by hurting them and I think it's some weird vindictive Thing that he's got against the West. I do. Like, if it's not Quebec, it's no good. That's that's just the way I see things, okay? So, what do we do? Well, we know what we have to do. Come October, we gotta go with the vote, and we gotta vote this guy out. Tell your friends, tell your family, I keep saying this, but I want to make sure that it's... It, you wake up and you go, oh yeah, gotta tell my friends and family, I gotta vote. You gotta get out there, you gotta vote. We got to get rid of this guy. We got to get Canada back on track. We have to help each other out. Okay? We have to build this nation back to the great nation it was. And it cannot be that 
with Justin Trudeau in power. So, people, get out and vote in October. Woohoo! Get let's get rid of this guy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe. Send it to your friends. Leave a comment. Love reading the comments. Good or bad. Take care, guys. Be safe.